First, I want to thank John Rovner at Team ZI1 at TeamZI1.com. And I'll put a link below to him. He's the guy that got me onto this battery monitor of sorts. And I'm going to tell you a little bit about it today. Uh, it's a 12 volt uh, lead acid battery monitor that works with a remote which is really great. So I put the battery monitor on my battery here in the Corvette and I take the monitor and bring it in the house and I can put it anywhere in the house and it monitors my battery all the time. It's pretty cool. They shut off like when you put the one in the uh, on the battery here you plug it in and it goes on for like one or two seconds and it goes right off. Well it's supposed to do that. Don't think oh geez I didn't get one of the contacts right or I'm you know my connections not right. That's not the problem. If you, the minute you put that second connector, let's say you do the red to red first, then you go to and do the black to black. When you do the black to black, that little monitor clip will come on, but it will go right off in about two seconds. And the first thing you think is, ah, oh, crap, I, I have a lousy connection somewhere. No, it works, it's working fine. <laughs> Just go look at the monitor and you'll see that the data is being read out over there. This thing is 39 bucks at Amazon. How do you beat that? I've got a link below to this battery monitor. I think it's a great little addition and it's not gonna beat your pocketbook up. You keep an eye on your battery. And I'm gonna show you the video now. Let me go. Let's go to the video and I'll show you the install. It's, it's wicked simple. The hottest part's getting to the battery. This is a box that comes in battery monitor and these are the items that are in it. This is the part that you connect to your battery and this is the remote part that allows you to remotely um, monitor your battery. And this is a mounting piece that's double sided and you can mount this somewhere on the outside of your um, battery somewhere which we'll figure out in a minute. So what's it tell us we're gonna do? Well, according to uh, ZR1Net, it says it is state, state of health of your battery. If the battery is good, it should be replaced. If the battery temperature, what is the battery temperature? The battery, the level of the battery is charged or whether it's not charging. The cranking voltage, what's the volt, what is the voltage? And if the charging system is good, and if the charging system output is too low. So on the, on the side of the box, it also tells us something similar to that. It says, real-time display of health, temperature, power, and voltage, and automatically tests the starting and charging system of the vehicle, automatic alarm when data is abnormal. And it also has on the top of this, this little section, oh, where did it go? There it is. This is a um, solar cell. So when you're looking at this and you have it sitting somewhere, it is charging. Up in the upper left hand corner, it tells you how much charge is in your monitor. And it looks like it's charging right now. See how the, the lights are going back and forth up on the top left hand corner? I think that's a pretty indication of it charging itself. Pretty cool. So a little solar panel right up here on the top. Very, very cool. So we want to put this on. This is a really simple installation. This goes on your battery. This goes somewhere inside or outside your battery. And this is a double-sized tape where you can stick it somewhere. Stick one side, it's sticky on, sticky on both sides. So we got that going. And this is the monitor. Now I'm able to take this monitor inside my house. And from my house I can monitor the health of uh, the battery. So this is a good thing. So we want to be able to monitor the health of our battery, especially if your car is sitting around for two or three weeks like sometimes they do down here in the villages. This would be perfect for your car. So I think it's, one, and it's 39 bucks on Amazon. How do you beat that? I'll put a link down below. So if you remember from a previous video, I have to take this side piece off, this side piece off, and then this center piece comes off and we can get to the battery and the battery is right there. So I have this tool that I think everybody should have. 
you see these are orange tools. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go over here, I'm gonna get under this thing, and lift it up, and then I should be able to lift this up. I'll try to pull it out that way. So I took the three pieces off, uh, the two side pieces and the big piece that goes across here. And I think I'm going to mount this inside the battery, like over here, something like that. Uh, I think I'm going to mount it over there because I don't need to see that. I've got the remote, so this is going to be fine. So I'm going to leave it in here and everything's hooked up. And now I'm going to put the center section on and put these two side pieces on. And my, uh, my little device seems to be recording the data. Battery looks great. And everything looks fine. And my little solar power thing there is collecting solar power. Okay, so we have the top piece on. It's all in and down. And now we're gonna put the two side pieces. Try to look at these holes. Like you see a hole here. And I think there's probably another one up there. Check on the side there. That's where those babies slip in and it'll give you a little guidance as to where they go. 